Hi, my name is Deanne Bauer and I'm on the board of the Sustainability Project, also a member of the Green Building Alliance and a local eco broker in town here, specializing in green built homes in the real estate industry. For me, green money is really the transition that we're all experiencing. We're in a time of uncertainty, but we're moving towards a really good uh, future. And so our money is kind of tagging along with that. So some of the old ways are kind of falling apart and the new structures are being built. So green money to me is uh, the future of focusing where we're spending our money, how we're spending our money, and finding ways that that can be uh, helpful to the environment as well. One way green money can take place in our lives is through the banking and investment services that we choose. And when I was researching this, a lot of what I found were the existing models of credit cards and banks and uh, investments are all uh, available now and with a consciousness towards the environment. So we can choose credit cards that now uh, give 1% back to 50 causes that you can choose which ones. Um, banking is very interesting. I think local banks personally are a good way to go. And one of the things that I found was a local bank here in Santa Barbara, the American Riviera Bank, um, actually, because they're new, have the newest, latest technology. Um, the woman there shared with me that actually an existing bank, to make a deposit, you drive your car to the bank, you stand in line, you deposit your check. That check then goes to a servicing area, it actually gets flown from Santa Barbara probably to Salinas or uh, Sacramento. From there, it has to be flown again on an airplane to one of the Federal Reserve Bank's um, holding areas, which is in San Francisco or LA. So this one piece of paper, this one deposit, this one check is now flown across uh, California. And then um, their technology though, they have the newest technology. You walk up, you deposit your uh, check and it actually goes directly to the Federal Reserve uh, electronically. So there's no transportation needed uh, to make that deposit. Another way to encourage uh, green investing is uh, your 401k money. I think that we who have investments that way through our employers or we choose to create an, a retirement account, we can choose where that money gets invested. And there are several funds out there. I've researched uh, quite a few. The Calvert Fund is one that um, has been around for a long time. They really specifically choose socially responsible businesses that care about the environment, that care about the employees and the workers and the people involved in making their products. And so uh, I've done some research on that and find that if you do look on the internet, there's wealth of information and you can make really good choices on your 401k plan. Um, the other investment, the biggest investment that people usually make in their lifetime is in their home. And I think a green home is a great place to put your money, either your existing home and greening it up and making it more environmentally friendly, more energy efficient, but also uh, looking at the new green homes that are out there available to purchase. If you're choosing between a non-green home and a green home, look at the long-term cost savings and effects that that home's gonna save you in health and uh, energy costs and just overall comfort and livability. But the biggest thing I do, I think, is I buy locally. I really, really support the local artists, the local farmers. I think farmers markets are really critical for our community so that we have food. And then a step further is uh, my boyfriend and I actually purchased a home this summer and we're planting our own food. So we've created our yard into a food forest. So we're growing vegetables in the front and an orchard in the back. And uh, really excited to have our own organic food you know, right at home. Kind of a new trend we're seeing is green businesses and you can actually be a certified green business now. The Santa Barbara County Green Business Program is just being launched. You can go and uh, there's a checklist. You can get your business that you work for 
to become a certified green business. And I think that's going to be a great trend for our community. There are consultants out there that will come and consult with your business and um, give you some different aspects of how you can green up your business and hire them on a one-on-one -on -one basis and get a very customized um, way to approach your business. Another way is to research some of the well-known green companies, and they all are more than willing to share their ideas. Um, Yvonne Chenard, the owner of Patagonia, does lots of talks around the U.S., and I've heard him speak, and he's more than willing to help any company to green up their business. You just give him a call. He's had Walmart call him. He's had all the big guys call to ask, you know, what can we do? We're ready to green our business, and you're a great example. I think we're moving towards a period of time where green jobs are, um, they're going to be available, but right now I think it's a time to be creative. If you're interested in green and you're interested in creating a job for yourself, that's what you need to do. You need to approach your employer and take an existing position and make it a green focused job. So in my business, I guess my example is realtors aren't taking typically um, that well versed, but we've got a program called Eco Broker that actually trains us how to talk with our clients and our customers about energy efficiency, healthy homes, how to um, you know, conserve water, those type of issues. So you, know, you can take an existing you know, accounting position and try to find ways to make it green. Lots of ways to do that within your own job currently is just be more responsible with recycling and paperless and you know, email is, is really the best way to keep down the amount of paper and storing your files on your computer. Elizabeth and I, my business partner, we started the first green drinks in Santa Barbara. And it's been a really, really wonderful way for people to get to know each other, network, talk about uh, environmental causes and their, their concerns, but also networking for jobs. I've found a lot of service providers that I've now hired in the real estate world and have worked closely with them, a mold inspector and and asbestos and radon and testing and that. So it works, you know, you come, you show up once a month and you get to enjoy a whole bunch of new people and uh, share what you do and what they do and it's a great networking opportunity. If I was to recommend three things, three steps you can take towards screening your money life part of your life anyway, your lifestyle, I would recommend uh, start with uh, considering moving your banking to a local bank and one of the ones that can do the direct deposit that is not going to transport your deposits every day on an airplane for many miles. So I think that one's really critical. Um, I also think uh, local, you know, supporting our local artists, our local farmers, uh, supporting local businesses, restaurants, uh, those that are keeping our community going and that are close. But the third thing is, is we're a local community, but we're also a world community. And I think that we need to be helping and supporting those that don't have as much as we do. And another uh, aspect there is, um, is a brand new group in town started a micro loan program. And these are loans for uh, disadvantaged women over in Africa. And it's called uh, Bank of Hope, H-O-P-E and I can get more information to people about that, but uh, just small loans to women to start little micro businesses, and that's gonna be the grassroots. If everyone in the world is prospering and is not you know, struggling and starving, I think we're gonna have a world we're all really proud of. <laughs>